Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about using the AS5300 System Manager to view current alarms. Today we will be using the System Manager to view system alarms on network elements. We'll be starting this demo with the System Manager console open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 2.0 Troubleshooting and Fault Management Guide on the link shown. Now let's get started. Here we have our system manager console open. The first thing we want to look at is the alarm banner, which basically gives us a list of all of the alarms from all of the devices. And in my lab system, I have six alarms right now, two major, one minor, and three warning. If we want to take a look at one of the devices, we'll just open up the network elements and we'll look at one of our session managers. And if we click on the session manager, we can see that the alarm browser button here has turned from gray to active. And also if we look on the tool menu, we can see that the alarm browser is active. So we can click on any one of these and it will bring up our alarm browser for that device. So if we just click on it. And you can see here is our alarm browser. And the top section here shows all the alarms. Now I don't have very many alarms, but if you had a lot of alarms, you might want to sort. So we could sort by any one of these headings. And if we want to take a look at one of the messages, we can click on it. And the lower gives us all the details of the alarm. We can then acknowledge the alarm and click on the refresh button. And we can see that we have this alarm as acknowledged as true. And if we look here, we can see that we have one acknowledged warning. Let's just close this. If you have a lot of alarms, it can be difficult to find the element that is having problems. You have no indication of which device is an alarm on the side. Now there is a way that we can view our uh, devices in a logical format and see the alarm. There's a couple ways we can open it up. We can right click on the, uh, on the alarm banner and select logical view or a physical view depending on how we want to do it. We also have uh, these buttons here. We have the logical view button and the physical view button and under view we can click on the logical view or the physical view. So there's several ways to access the items through there. Uh, I'm just going to click on it here. And in the logical view, we can see all of our devices in a logical layout. Uh, so if we want to look at session managers, we can just click on this and open up session managers. And we can see which ones are in alarm and which ones are good. So any of the devices that have green are have no alarms. Blue indicates a warning message. We can see we have one warning message. Uh, the media application server is the one that's showing us it has some errors. So if we click on it, uh, we can see we have one minor and one major alarm on this device. Okay, let's take a look at the physical view. And this time we'll just open it with the button. And you can see that we have uh, our site broken down in, in a hierarchy. And we see that our mass server is the one giving us the, the error and we can click on it. And we can drill down to the item. Once we've clicked on it, it'll highlight the browser button. And you can see here's our same uh, errors, depending on how you have your systems laid out, it may be easier to use a logical format or a physical view. Okay, let's uh, just do a quick recap. Uh, personally, I find it easier to use the logical view and drill down to the alarms that I want. So first when I log in, I'll look and see uh, my alarm banner, which is displayed all the time. I'll just right click on it and open a logical view and uh, drill down to um, the alarms of my interest. So uh, I'm interested in this one. I'll just open it up. That way I can quickly identify the where the alarms are coming from and what uh, part of the system and, and actually go and review the actual alarm. At this point, let's go look at one of the minor alarms. And on the session manager, we have some minor alarms. And we'll view the alarm and we'll acknowledge it. 
and then refresh. Once we close it, we can see now that we don't have any alarms for that session manager. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was helpful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.